Congresswoman Joyce Beatty joining me now in studio. And Congresswoman, thanks first for being here. No, thank you for inviting me. Uh, you attended the funeral of Lois Oglesby. Oglesby. What was that like? It, it was very difficult um, because of the nature of her death, like the other eight individuals, to sit there and with other, the governor was there, Mayor Whaley and Mary McDonald was there, Commissioner Shaw. As, as we sat there, there were a lot of emotions as you're watching her young children, as you're watching her family with the look on their face about this senseless shooting. So I felt helpless and I felt empowered. empowered to continue to fight. I've proposed legislation. I've been a big advocate that we should have gone back uh, and fought with the Senate, the House, as you know. We've already passed two bills. And the other thing, we've only been in the majority for seven months. And within that time, we've passed two bills taking steps that everyone should get on board with. We're, we're asking for background checks to close the loophole that if you're going to sell a gun person to person, you have to get a background check. Why would all members of Congress, House and Senate support that? So Senator McConnell is a problem, and America needs to say something and do something. And I want to thank the media and you for carrying this story and continuing to talk about it. Because so often what happens, three days after all of the funerals, uh, the families still need us, but it seems to go away until the next shooting mass shooting. And what about all the shootings of single lives? I think we have a responsibility. It will not stop all the killings, but it will make a difference. You mentioned the legislation that's already been passed and the yes. fact that uh, Senator McConnell, uh, the majority leader in the Senate, has not called the Senate back. Yes. He has, however, said that this is probably a discussion that will move forward in uh, September. September. What do you think about that? Well, I, th I think we have to be stronger. I think that when we go back, we have to hold him accountable. My constituents use that word a lot holding us accountable. Well, together as members, we have to hold the Senate accountable. And, and I'm going to say to our listening audience, you know, write letters to everyone. They tell you to write to your congressperson. But I think you should look at the list who, of the members in the Senate who aren't with, on board with this. And, and we should write to them and demand that they be more responsible because we're, we're not violating a person's Second Amendment rights. You know. But we're talking about responsible and safe things that every responsible citizen should be supportive of. Do you think there's enough support now on the other side of the aisle to get something done? I think we're getting there. There would have been a time I would have sat here and said no because our bill would have been, would not have been a bipartisan bill. So the numbers are small, but more people are signing on. Uh, Congressman uh, man Mike Turner issued a statement that he would look at background checks. His daughter was also across the street from the shooting. So I think as it touches home or close, more people get on, on board. And I think that's awful sad. I think it's awful sad. I think we should start from the president down. Uh, I think he has a, a great responsibility and I hold him responsible as well. So we're just going to have to see what happens in September. But I can tell you, I will be continuing to fight and using my voice uh, for people against the senseless gun violence. Representative Beatty, thank you for being no, here. No, thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure. Thank you.